What up, y'all? I'm about to make a massive sale of movies, over a thousand to one buyer. We're gonna pack them up and get started. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna show you guys which movies have sold. They're over here on the middle shelf. So basically, viewer, shout out to Kevin, reached out and said, hey, how much for the movies? I want all of them. I said, well, all right. So there's the Blu-rays. There's probably like a thousand of them. And uh, right behind <laughs> right by me. Uh, LPAL has started counting. We named a flat price of $1.50 per, and if you wanted them all, we would do it ship. We would cover the shipping because that will be a big relief to us. And then there's all the seasons, and we found a couple more bins in the shed. Really, LPAL's gonna count them first. He'll let you know how many there are. Many boxes, probably at least six, maybe even 15 to 47. What? Somewhere in that range of boxes that are gonna be shipped out, and uh, he'll show you the, the full process and break down how much shipping will cost and how much we're actually gonna net on this whole deal. So the Blu-ray shelf is gone. I counted everything, got everything here onto the table. And before I tell you, comment how many Blu-rays you think are here. 42. Chase says 42. What's your answer? There are a total of 482 Blu-ray DVDs. If you got that exactly right, Nothing for you, sorry. Big round of applause for you though. And Chase is proud of you I'm gonna as well. Get here. I'm gonna say 42 as well. I think that was 42 games. I'm gonna go ahead and get those packed up. Let me show you what else we have. We also have a lot more seasons to go through. And we're gonna put these in some large boxes. Those are gonna be some heavy boxes, probably 60 some pounds. We feel for the UPS drivers, uh, we're very thankful for all of you. I'm gonna go ahead and get those Blu-rays packed up and then start counting these. For those of you who don't know, UPS charges like a $20 fee for anything over 50 pounds. And I didn't think about that when I was packing up. So I packed up this large U-Haul box of Blu-rays and I was like, oh, that's not that heavy. Brought it over to the scale, it's 72 pounds. So. I'm gonna have to unpack a ton of those into this medium box and probably only use medium boxes from now on because the seasons are gonna be even heavier. Two medium boxes were able to fit all of the Blu-ray DVDs. It's 47 pounds, one's 48 pounds. So what is that math? 95 pounds. Yes, 95 pounds. And now I'm gonna move on to the seasons, which are probably going to be twice that. Next time you see this shelf, It'll be empty. The shelf is empty. Two things, two things we love here at Caterpie Crew. It's empty shelves and empty bins. Why? Because then we can fill up the shelves and fill up the bins again. We sold all these over 500 seasons. I'm hoping to fit these in three boxes, but I mean, this is probably at least 150 pounds of seasons. So we'll see. Thank you, Al Pal, for getting all that done. I appreciate okay. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so 350 pounds roughly, right? and over a thousand movies they're gone we netted 1500 bucks after shipping shipping was like 250 or 300 bucks oh uh, thankfully he paid for shipping on the uh, dvd seasons pretty much netted a dollar 50 per but that leaves us with an empty shelf and this is when things get interesting because we get to fill the shelf let's go there's actually two empty shelves but the one over there we're going to be using for the game room so i'm going to leave that empty now that it's empty so this one completely we get to fill which is like 800 over 800 uh media items 800 games we don't have any more dvds which i am so happy about yeah and those two slots here as well thing. so another and we can combine so all of this is unprocessed all this ps1 this yep. is all ebay oh this is all unprocessed that's all unprocessed so if we find a bunch more ps1 stuff maybe what we'll do is like condense the two shelves oh and real quick also we have this space and a couple others that we're gonna condense so we can actually fill up the shelf wall fully go into the shed i love going to the shed it's like a treasure hunt every time we come in here this one is labeled ebay hobby shop so basically if they were good ebay or like good items from the hobby shop we just slapped them it's totally unprocessed we don't really know what's in there anymore and then if stuff we didn't know if it was worth selling on eBay, we'd just put it in unprocessed hobby shop bins so we could have an idea. So that's that stuff. But the, the main thing that I want to focus on today is unprocessed games because we have all the shelf space. We have them, most of them labeled. So this one, PS1 games. There's a bunch of disc only games at the top. Holy cow, that's hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a couple fat this stacks. This is Future Cop LAPD. I think that's a pretty good game, so. 
Okay. Those, these I think are from the game barn. Looks like there's the long box PS1 games in the back. So this might be a little combination of like some garage sale stuff, maybe. Yeah, we could have mixed some of that in there. Looking at it. Um. So that now we have a spot for empty cases. Can let's let's get that. that. Like there's a boxed NES Indiana Jones. Yeah, 100% we need to grab that. <laughs> this is also just cases, which we have a spot for. Yeah, so. This feels a little heavier than just cases. Like, I'm kind of doubting that this is just cases. <laughs> this is actually kind of heavy. Feel it. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess so, we'll have to look at that. Guys, we get to do some digging. Let's go. <laughs> There's good cases only. I I think they are just cases because I kind of remember going okay. through. I threw away a bunch of, like, the just super low-end cases that were in bad shape. Okay but I kept all the good ones. I could be wrong, though. It's been Wait, over I smash a my excitement. So <laughs> there could be manuals in all of them, so they could be really good cases. Wait, this is a 40 pound, game, so I am curious. What's that game right here on the end? Dark Cloud 2? Is that a good yeah, one? That's a good one. That's a good case. <laughs> that sounds good. It looks like these are empty as well. Transformers, so. the game, the oh, movie. Castlevania. Nice. Um, Sweet. Mega Man. Okay. Yeah, so just getting those up so that we can see what we have is very important. I completed like seven PS2 games this morning. Nice. We had the thousand PS2 discs that are good games with no cases. Matt and I completed some GameCube ones yesterday. So like ten just yesterday. <laughs> it's working. And now if we, there's more GameCube discs here, so we're probably gonna have. <laughs> we have like a stack of GameCube discs that we've been cleaning. Uh, this one goes up. Yep. Oh, it comes with a bug. Look at it. Yes. The bug is free. That's why we got plastic bins with lids for the most part. Unprocessed. Yeah. Empty cases and loose discs. Oh, oh these yeah. are all uh, the PlayStation collection. The yes. five, 500 games or something. Let's take these because yeah, we can certainly get those on a shelf. We got empty cases for PS1 right here, so we can probably take that. Oh my gosh. Manuals and Oh, that's beautiful. What are those GameCube games? <laughs> yeah, we have to see them. Tony Hawk's American Come Wasteland. On. Not bad, Blood Rain. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Got lots of test and clean and sell on Facebook bins. Broken sell for parts consoles. We got like clean and test Wii systems there. Oh, these are returns and stuff. Okay. All these, yeah, all these so just bins. just consoles that got to be retested. I think. What's this one? Those? Yeah, clean and test. Test cables too. Okay, so we found two good bins. All, all these have good stuff in them. I think these were from the same collection that yeah. the discs are right below. There's there's like a misadventure of the Tronbot in here. Yes, that's right. So a screenshot of that game complete. We got a case for it. Even case only is probably over 100 bucks. Back down, we've got uh, five bins ready to go in. Probably start taking those soon so Alpal can organize them. We can all work together here. I don't know what's in this. Mercy. Oh my gosh. Saturn CD. Rise of the Dragon. Sewer Shark. That's a good one. We have a case for that one. Echo the Dolphin. Solid like $20, $30 games. Yeah, cool. Super Shark again. That's More crazy. Ball, soccer, Madden. We're bringing Sega this Classics. In. Nice. You gotta bring it in. What's this? Ooh, if that's in there, that'd be kind of nice. Soul Feast. Soul Feast. Because they couldn't spell Feast right. It's still taped. That's not original tape. No. There you go. Wow. It is in there. That's cool. That's a nice little bin. Okay, so we'll bring that in. And then we'll throw away the bin, because that's a nasty bin. Yep. So let's grab that and this. While you do that, maybe I'll look in these, like, yellow bins. Yeah, check it. I think those might be garage sale. Yeah, they both say garage sale, yeah. so probably just that. But I want to look. Brother. Okay, yep, it's garage sale stuff. That was a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, these are all empty cases. But I PS1, know. Dreamcast. Yeah, PS1 and Dreamcast. Ready to rumble boxing, round two. There's good ones. Look at that, Alundra. Rascal. Oh, wow. Working designs game. Yep. Be on the lookout for that. Skull Monkeys, I know, is a pretty good one. No manual, but... No game either. Yeah. <laughs> Breath of Fire 3. Wow. Yeah, these are all empty. Oh. But we got to get them, so... Cause... <laughs> We need to know that we have these cases when we're going through our disc only stuff. And we will also be selling a bunch of empty cases and manuals on whatnot. There's, we just can't do it all and we'll sell a lot of them to you guys. So follow us on whatnot. We'll put our whatnot uh, info in the description, get 10 free dollars. We do auctions like four times a month and usually one really big one a month and one massive one a quarter uh, where we give away like PS5s and Switches and Xboxes and stuff like that. Yep. There's a bunch of manuals in here. Like, what, I like that. What I like world? that a lot. Let's grab that one. Top Another. Gun. It's Top Gun Maverick the game. <laughs> um, look. Ape Escape. Isn't that the one we, we have just... that case. <laughs> I know we have that case. We okay. got Loaded for PS1. 
Uh, so Ultimate Mortal Kombat for Saturn. Wow, I hope those clean up. <laughs> this is <laughs> Zelda for Wii. What's this one? Medieval for PS1. Valkyrie oh, okay. Profile. Are you kidding me right now? We just have all these just sitting? And there's both discs. Oh my gosh. There's one and two. Well, I only found Sammy Sosa's softball slam. <laughs> Get better, brother. <laughs> I beat you there. Look at that. Okay, that's a good find. The Final Fantasy Le... What is that? Game Boy and Final Fantasy Legend. Yeah. That sounds cool. A nice, nice manual. This is a good one. This is probably like a... Five hundred to a thousand dollar bin. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's move on to the next bin. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Whoa. Please, don't... GameCube. Oh my gosh! A lot of GameCube. Incredible Hulk. Oh Holy my gosh! Mercy. Guys, tell me that this is your favorite Marvel movie without telling me it's your favorite Marvel movie. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. <laughs> See? It's destiny. See? Wait, this they, is. They just told you. Bugs Bunny, Crazy Castle that Two. That's a good game. one. That's pretty good one. Yeah. Okay. You convinced uh, me. That's a good one. It says Zelda on the top. So one of the things um, from the game barn is they labeled all of the loose disc boxes. They're probably, when I think about it, dude, there's probably three to 4,000 loose discs oh, yeah. easily. There were like four bins like this, totally full. Yeah, and they, they tried to alphabetize them all, and some of them were accurate, but this one, maybe not. This was a casualty in the uh, in the move. The bins with the loose discs. Went oh, flying. yeah, that's right. So that's why I think that they're kind of random like uh -huh. this. <laughs> one, one Piece the game. Like, what other hidden trip? Fantasy Star Universe. This one's pretty good. Shadow of Destiny. Like, it looks like it'll clean up just fine. Let's see the GameCube. Oh, yeah, oh preview it. disc? It's kind of fun. RTS, Army Men, Madden, Teen Titans. He's going to get comments on the. What, am I Don't just worry, skipping we're, over? we're buffing them right after. Final Fantasy, Turok Evolution, Star Fox, Sonic Mega Collection. Guys, these things saw worse. So hey, just... we need one of these. What is it? DS slot cover. I literally oh. have one that I'm I'm waiting for that. On. Perfect. Sorry, I just like poking Ooh, around. Mario, Mario 2. That's this one. Come on. Killer Instinct. Okay. okay. Like, it's Ooh. a gray cartridge, um, like a these metal have gear. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Um... Any stand for PlayStation. Vertical stands, the original Sony brand ones. That's probably, I think it's at least 20 bucks, but it might even be like 30 This looks like it was for the Super Slim, too. Yeah, the top loading. The Super Slim. I think that might be it. We got a great start. Um, like, this is just Wii stuff. Oh, gotta <laughs> grab these cases. Yes. Well, like, look at this. This is all third-party stuff for the most part. But more cases. What are those? Three cases. Okay. I don't know if they're in great shape or what, but we can always use the cases. Yes. You guys saw how many disc only <laughs> games we have. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Let's uh, start bringing them over. Let's do it and start getting stuff laid out. What's the password? The password is let me in. I have games. Did you say games? I said games, games, games. Games, games, games. Those are games. These are games. Okay, brother, you're going to be excited to see what we have. Hundreds of loose discs. <laughs> Some GameCube ones. <laughs> um, we're going to, I have a bunch more bins. We're going to start loading up this table, I think. Okay, I'll get these off here. Thank you. Okay, we have all of our boxes uh, here and on the floor. So we're just going to go through them. And I think the smartest thing to do would be to organize by what maybe needs testing or organize by condition. And then some bins are just purely cases. So we'll move those over there to be organized. Um, and then maybe make a stack of disc only stuff uh, that either needs testing or looks good. Or what do you think? Like this one. I just have one question. Are Cheeto fingers acceptable? Uh, let us know in the comments if you can handle games with Cheeto fingers. Um, I'm personally more of a Dorito finger kind of guy when I play games, but... It's a good uh, point. I'll go get some Doritos. Cool. Let us, uh, let us know what you guys think. So this is like an example of one of the games. Almost a mirror. Hi, you can see me in there. A couple smudges from where I accidentally just touched it, but it looks fine. I'm curious if Chase would still want to uh, clean it or not. Like this one's kind of scratched. Also, I don't know which ones are worth selling anymore. WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2010 for the PS3. Might be good, some of the wrestling ones are good. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. An empty case, that might be good. Well, this, Star Gladiator. This is case only, but it's nice, so we'll put that in the case only pile. And I'm pretty sure all of these are case only, but we'll still look because one of them had a disc in it. This is uh, Final Fantasy Chronicles, which is Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger together. Uh, it's unfortunate this has some water damage, but I think we have a couple of these games probably laying around somewhere. 
we'll have to look for those. There's a lot of solid cases. Chase, is uh, Tron Bond a good case? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you found it? No, I didn't. Uh, this one, Fear Effect 2, is just missing one disc. Uh, there's just a lot to go through. Epidemic. So, oh, Soul Feast. That one. We found the box for that one, didn't we? Where, where is it? Soul Feast. The box had the disc in it. The box had the disc in it. Oh, you're right. So we have two of those. Yeah. Chase, look that one up. I'm curious how much it's worth. Okay. How much is it worth? S-O-L Feast. Oh, also, <gasps> Black Hole Assault. I think Black Hole is a good one. Soul <laughs> or maybe this is like... Uh... $15. Okay, Soul Feast is $15, so we're gonna throw these ones away. Black Hole Assault. I'm kidding. Good. Black Hole Assault isn't good. We found a, was it Black Hole, the red box, Chase? The red, the red box is good. The red, the red box, red cardboard box variant. There's a blue box and a red box. Look for the red box. Bram Stoker's Dracula. So all these are like kind of mid-tier, it does, it does look like. Virtual Fighter. Uh, NHL All-Star Hockey, Sewer Shark, there's a few of those, Rise of the Dragon, there's a few of those, boom, there's the other Sewer Shark. Let me know if there's a difference between these Sewer Sharks. This one is green, this one is blue. Oh, this one's not for resale, so this was bundled with the Sega CD. Sherlock Holmes. There's just lots of Sega classic stuff. There's gotta be one, another Sewer Shark, oh my gosh. That was like a pack of games for those. Yeah. yeah. For the Saturn or the CD? The, yeah, oh, Saturn. here we go. That's a good one. Is that it's, a, it's just a sample. Sampler. But uh, Night, Nights into Dreams, that's a good one. This is in terrible condition. But be on the lookout for that game. Complete 80 to 100, I think. Yep. The Last Bronx. This is uh, what the Bronx looks like. There's always just three dudes there. You smell Willie Beamish is like a $15 disc. You, you smell like yummy food. I'm Thank you. Now. Yes, Cheetos. <laughs> I'm setting aside a pile to look up the games that we don't know, and then the obvious ones that we should keep. Oh, this one's in there. We're setting over to the left. Oops. This needs to resurface. But add it to the resurface pile. You did find the winning between case? Or no? This this one is just in there. Oh, okay. Uh, that, oh, this is preschool. There's also kindergarten. Crazy Who's Taxi's that? in there for Dream Taps. Nice. The more of these are in here than... These were labeled empty cases. Some of them are. Crash Bandicoot. Nice. Dance Dance Revolution. Nothing in there. <clears throat> that was a match. So we want this one resurfaced for sure. Yeah. Cool. There's Jet. WCW Nitro is in there. Nice. Jet Moto. There, there's a lot more games here than we thought. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the thing is, I thought all these cases we just never found the discs for, but we just never finished the job. So we got I easily... remember something else had to get to now you brought that up and we have like 150 discs that were in these soft cases in the bin next to it which is from the same collection we had to transfer 1100 discs apparently we only transferred like 950 <laughs> but it was a job because they were in alphabetical order in the sleeves but the cases were not yeah that was miserable that was miserable shout out to carson for doing all yeah, that seriously <laughs> like hi carson day one uh do this <laughs> Yes. Uh, so right now we're just going through and pairing them all. Hopefully we can pair all these because the, the collector of this was very particular about his stuff. So I would imagine most of it is here or there's going to be extra discs for yeah. other cases we can complete. I know you said we had MDK. Here's Mega Man Legends 2. Uh, oh my gosh. So that's the demo CD. So this might be Mega Man Legends 1 or I don't know if Tron Bond. Did you ever find the Tron Bond case? Oh, no, I think no. there was a disc only for that. I don't think we ever found oh, the Oh, it case. was the disc, and we sold. That's what it was. Yep. There it is. Oh. There it is. We did not sell it. It's been chilling. Tron Bond. So what Mis is The Misadventures of Tron Bond. It's by Capcom. It's like, I don't know if it's before or after the Mega Man Legends games, but it's related, and it's incredibly rare. I'm sure that's over a $100 disc. All right, we went through. We put in the cases in alphabetical order and then added the disc. We got all these ones in there, so probably... 100 something, 100 something discs are in there. And then all these cases are still empty. There's a lot of good ones here, like Parappa the Rapper. It's a good one. We got them in alphabetical right now. And all of these were discs that we could not find the cases for, but don't worry. There's like five more stacks just like it. <laughs> so we haven't looked at those discs yet. 
to see if we have cases. I quickly unloaded them from that bin down yonder. And um, that's where they were on top of those. Okay. And, already, and all these ones have discs in them. Yeah, those, those are all in there. I had two cases quickly that I just found, like, looking like this. There's Thunder Force. Like, there's some good games in here. Rayman. Yeah, it's all a bunch of Rayman. Jeez. So these... Razor Freestyle uh, Scooter. I, I think we just got to bring these over to a, the disc-only shelf. Just set them there, and then we can decide what's worth resurfacing. Maybe there'll be some low-dollar ones that we don't find cases for, and we'll just... Use them as Frisbees. Use them as Frisbees, trade them in, maybe. Um, That'd be smarter, more responsible. We could sell, like, a hundred disc lot on whatnot or something. Started mm -hmm. at a buck a disc. Or maybe not even that high. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out, but there's a lot here. So those we can get immediately on an unprocessed shelf mm -hmm. of games with cases, which is also where these are going to go. Okay, so we got, like, maybe 200 total? Yeah, probably something like that. Well, I just found. Oh, that's good. Pokemon That's Coliseum. good. That's real good. Is it well, good, though? Ain't no shot. I don't know if you can what? see, but it has, like, deep, deep burn marks or something. Burn marks? Where? Not burn. It's like... Oh, right there. Like they tried to clean it, and they completely I failed. I don't know. Our resurfacer is good. That, it doesn't do that. <laughs> it, it can't fix that it can't fix that but it might be able to fix this one which is labeled not working scratch what is it oh mario strikers and th nice. that one just has scratches so i'm thinking we can save a mario strikers nice it's a great game now when are we gonna start putting those in the big machine probably on saturday so you need uh, a special yeah. game boy ad or game cube adapter i actually have done that multiple times now how many plastic things do you have i have two okay so, so we i've need... been mixing in two gamecube games Two runs of 50 on a light clean okay. with the adapter. And Matt, did those GameCube games work? Some of them? Uh, you tested? Yeah, most of them. Most of them worked. So apparently it's working. So we need to buy 13 more so we can do 15 yeah. GameCube. I think we can do two at a time. We, we don't have that many GameCube games. We have more than that. We got a fat stack over there, too. Yeah. <laughs> we do, but we got fat stacks of other games, True. too. So two what at a time, we'll get there in like six years. <laughs> Chase just found 500 more and here's what we got to work with dun 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 da 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 dun da 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 dun da dun da da I remember this stack like seeing it now it's all coming back to me there was a whole bottom row on one of the shelves at the game barn filled yes, yes so I believe uh, those are those because they were in grocery bags Chase is just going through right. trying to find these good are stuff. PS2 these are PS1 more PS1 <laughs> death trap dungeon by Eidos. <laughs> I don't even know if that's, I don't think that's a great one, but there's, like we were finding, finding Brave Fencer Musashi and RPGs and all sorts of glory. And then there's more GameCube here. And a lot of these, I think, legitimately are just like scratched and they were like overwhelmed, set them to the side, and then years later they had 10,000 disc only. This is NFL Street 2. I mean, it's in terrible condition, but it's just scratches. Like it actually has a shot. Which game? Which game? Okay. Ooh, Postbound, Postbound Kingdom. Postbound Kingdom. That Res looks like it might work. RE4. Nice. Tony Hawk. Ooh, what's that one? Flip it. Okay. Tony Hawk. There we go. Wave Race. Madden 08. Last Madden on GameCube, actually. Need for yeah. Speed. A little bit of value. It's like all just decent stuff. I mean, There's all... Oh, hit and run. Solid. There we go. I think we have a case to this one. Probably. Look at Mario Golf. <laughs> just <laughs> chilling. Mario Golf. <gasps> the best King Kong. Peter Jackson's Ooh. King Kong featuring Jonathan Black. Mm -hmm. And two NBA Street 3s featuring Mario, Peach, and Luigi. Yep. And then what's this? Dark Summit? But look at all these. This is a lot of discs. We're going to get I them all out. it was out. all manuals, but really there's a bunch More of GameCube. Good night, dude. Need for Speed. Bionicle. Burnout. Top Gun Maverick. Sonic Adventure DX. And Over the Hedge featuring uh, Steve Carell as this, Hammy. This is Session Snow for GameCube. What is that? This, Produced are you by sure? Warren Miller Entertainment. It says Nintendo on it. That's weird. That is weird. That's not like a game. It's a yeah. Okay, so Chase is cleaning games over there, making a racket. We're just kind of annoyed now because there's more discs and more cases, and we have to pair stuff. And who knew that part of a video game business was completing things? Chase, why can't we just hold on to everything for years to come? Well, um, we can't do that because... We can't let this happen again. Yes. 
This is just manuals. Oh, the Tony USA is still in here. It's in there? Is the game oh, in there? Oh, that, Look at all these. Yeah. Right. It looks like it. Sonic Adventure. Time My Solvers. goodness. Shenmue. Shenmue. Mother Sonic and some of it's Adventure. like game art, too. Yeah, the rear cover art. I don't. Here. We're going to wrap this one here. And remember, your systems are perfectly set up for the results you're getting. Or as Sky Guy would say, your systems are perfectly set up mm -hmm. for the results you are getting. That's what I would say. Bart will do.